the Productivity Hacks channel with Klaus Geisendorfer. Welcome to this Google Calendar tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you seven secret calendar features that will make you a Google Calendar Pro. Feature number one. If you want to create a new appointment, just click right into the calendar. For example, if you have an appointment Friday at noon, just click right into here and you create a new appointment that's much faster than going through the create button where you have to select the day and time manually. If you create a all day event, just click here on top. You can create an all day event and same if you have a task, you click here on top, select task. And you have, for example, you have a sales letter to finish, sales letter, and then you can finish your sales letter by Friday and it will be here in your task list. Rather than clicking create task, I just hit enter and it's right there. Just another way to be quicker and faster and more efficient. All right, tip number two, add attachments. If you have an event, let's say you have a reservation, you're going to um, dinner or you need going to a concert where you need your to show your ticket with a barcode on it, you can just add a attachment right here. Click on add attachment, upload it from your computer and you have it right there and then when you go to the event and the actual event pops up. Um, next tip is to use the advanced repeat function here. Let's say you have a phone call every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, but not on Thursday. So you just select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but not Thursday. And you can create a new calendar event that repeats on all these specific days. So you have a custom repeat schedule. The next tip is to use different calendars for different aspects of your life or your different projects. For example, here we have a calendar called Clara Activities. This is a calendar which has all of my daughter's activities. And if we have a new babysitter or a nanny, then we just share that activity calendars with them. And then they have all the access to my daughter's calendar events. Same here for work. I have a video posting schedule where I can inform my team if I want to post a new video. Um, you can also share calendars with others. Here, if I click on the um, share this calendar button, I can share a calendar with different team members and I can even make people owners of the calendar if I want to hand that calendar completely over to somebody else. The next secret feature are public calendars. Here and the other calendars, you can browse interesting calendars. You can see Christian holidays or if you're into sports, for example, American football, you can add a calendar from the Arizona Cardinals to always know what games take place at what day. Another way to use public Google calendars is to create your own Google calendar. Let's say you're running a um, soccer soccer team, soccer league calendar. You can create your own Google calendar for your soccer team and you just make this calendar public. Make it public, hit on create calendar. And after a couple of seconds, your calendar pops up here. You go to calendar settings. And now what you can do here, you can share that calendar. You can use an iframe and embed it in a website. Or here you have a HTML version of the calendar, which you can share with people embed in website. It's a public calendar where everybody can see your soccer league dates. We've done that here for one of the websites that I have um, on Amstad. I created a public Google calendar with all the Twitter chat hours in the UK and we've shared it with people so that they can copy to their own calendars or look it up here to see which Twitter chat hours take place at what time. Next tip is that you can use the search calendar feature. For example, if you forgot when your wife's birthday is, you can just type wife in here. And if you have a calendar event titled wife birthday, then you'll be able to find your wife's birthday in here. You can also use it if you want to remember when you had a last phone call or meetup. For example, here I had my last phone call with John on Wednesday, 1st of April. It's a nice, handy little feature. The uh, last tip I have for you is to change default notification settings. Here, for example, the notification is always set to 10 minutes before. You can change those default notification settings by clicking here on settings, calendars, edit notifications. You can change it and change the time, for example, to 50 minutes if you need some more time. Also, you can change the default notification for all day events. Um, all day events, in my case, are usually birthdays or somewhere where I'm going for a day or two. And I like to have a um, heads up. So I can add a new notification via email. 
six days in advance to make sure I have advance notice to buy a birthday present for my wife, for example. There you go. Seven tips to make a Google Calendar expert and make your life with Google Calendar much easier. If you have any questions or any comments or additions, then please put them in the comments box below in YouTube right here. If you like this video, then please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Lastly, if you want to learn a little bit more about Gmail, then check out this video here. The Productivity Hacks Channel with Klaus Geisendorfer.